Following him, Nate Zimmerman in the 79 out of Southeastern Mass and Christina Strickland out of Millville, Mass. Following him, Cam gives us the double greens. Outlaw season is underway. Zach Keith, Ryder Aguiar separated by half a car length and it turns three and four. DeSoma and Yurik trying to make runs on the inside and outside respectively. About the top 10 separating themselves from the rest of the pack. Keith able to lead a lap in. Found himself in the drive for the Cub last year. Something gone astray on the DeSoma machine. Burroughs does a 360. This is a very large or about the Legends and Bandoleros. Post time for the East Coast Towing and Recovery Spectator Drags figure eights, enduros, the powder puff, no fireworks, as we alluded to earlier. But nonetheless, kickoff summer, Speedway style, at the Memorial Day Throw Show tomorrow, 5 p.m., right here at the action track of the East, and we are back underway. Two laps on the board, and Keith has led both of them. Robito, Aggie are knocking on the door on opposite ends of the 66 as they hit three and four. Keith and Aggie are even. Steven, top six, separating themselves from the rest of the field. Three wide for fifth for the moment between Hannafin, Wakefield, and Urig. They both slide up, and it's now double wide for the lead. Two by two, marching door to door into three and four between Keith and Aggie. Our Hannafin takes a peek to the inside, nothing doing. Davis and Robito side by side for the third position. Aguiar able to one up Keith by half a car length. Robito knocking on Keith's door in a three and four. Keith, though, able to maintain his lead as five laps are now on the board. Hannafin trying to squeeze his way in. Robito overtaking the second spot. Wakefield who won down south earlier this year, trying to peek his way into the top five and does. Contact between the 14 of Davis and the 13 of Aguiar. We stay green. Robito now has pulled away with the lead, and Wakefield is pouncing on the back bumper of Hannafin for the second position. Top three, nose to tail and a four. The black flag being given to Christina Strickland. She'll have to head pit side. The leaders look out, avoid her by about a hair. Hannafin through the mess, able to reclaim the lead with Wakefield creeping up on Robito's side in a three and four. Davis introducing himself as well. Eight laps on the board. We are halfway home and Hannafin starting to stretch this one out. His first career outlaw race. Wakefield not going down without a fight. Able to peek his way in and overtaking second. Him and Robito exchanging blows. Side by side for the second spot. Separated by a sixth of a car length in a three and four. Robito takes it over this time by. Hannafin still leading though. With Davis in fourth and Aguiar comfortably in fifth. They pass lap traffic and Nate Martin out of Southeastern Mass. Off of four they come Hannafin. Still leading with Davis creeping up on the back bumper of Robito and Wakefield for the second and third positions. Four more laps to dance. Hannafin comfortably leading. Still a dogfight between Robito and Wakefield off of four. Davis trying to skimmy his way in there. Can't quite find it. Tries the inside. Robito takes it away. Him and Wakefield blow for blow into three and four, even with Hannafin still leading. Twin sticks are up, two laps to go. Mike Hannafin, his father John's won quite a number of times in the President's Landscaping, number 76, the red, white, and blue, in homage to his grandfather. Robito and Wakefield still side by side for a second. White flag is up. Davis trying to get himself into the dogfight. 
Wakefield, a third of a car length on Robodeau. Now they're even. Hannafin leading the pack. He's got three cars creeping up on him, but I think they're going to run out of time. Mike Hannafin wins his first career outlaw race. They're going to give second to Robodeau by half a car length. Brody Wakefield rounds out the top three. Mike Hannafin making early and loud noise in his outlaw career. He wins in week one. Grand Prix, Bandolero Bandit. Division, Mike Hannafin is back in victory lane. John offering his congratulatory thoughts and remarks. So close to a championship last year. This jump, it can be treacherous and dangerous for some drivers. You made it look easy. Uh, yeah, that was a tough race. It was entertaining to uh, almost spun out a couple times. The last couple laps were bouncy and rough on the car. That's why it almost only counts in horseshoes, right? You made this look easy. The transitions that, you know, there's about 70 of you that really separated yourselves from the pack. What made this car stand out today? Uh, just working on the car earlier in practice. It was just changing it for looser or tighter. Who works on this car and who helps you out that you want to thank? I want to thank my dad, my mom, my sister, my friends for coming out, um, Chuck and Zotto, Presence Landscapes and Design, uh, Phil and Glenn, Grandpa Zeke, Performance Electric, Lighthouse Garage. <laughs> that is it. Mike Hannavan back in after, this is a long time coming. The car looks fantastic. Picked up a win down south. This car is everything it needs after watching it today to pick up a win here. What happened? Honestly, I think we and Bryson, we were chasing him down. I honestly think if we had a couple more laps, we definitely could have got him. But, we, I mean, we definitely had something for the 76. But congrats off uh, to uh, Mikey. Uh, I can't thank my dad enough to, for getting me where I needed to be. Bryson for raising me clean. My family, my mom, my sister, my brother, my grandparents, my little brother, uh, Martin family, the Vanessa family, uh, RNF Motors, East Craig Ferrier, electrician, Lindsay Wakefield, photography, ground control, and pause custom exhaust. You and Bryson put on a show for a second. I'd, I'll bring it up now. Did you think he had you? Did you have him? Because that was really, you, you blinked, and there was somebody new in that second spot. Honestly, I didn't even know, but that was a hell of a race. <laughs> that it was. Congratulations again. You guys put on a clinic, back and forth, back and forth. Did you really think if you had another lap or two, you had... The 76 of Hannafin? Yeah, it's, uh, we had, we definitely had a fight for him. We just bought a, um, we just bought a spork to a knife fight, so. Power to do. That's the best reference I've heard in my three years doing this. This car, again, last year it was fast. It's faster this year, and there's a lot of hard work that goes in behind it. We got a lot of hard work in this thing, me and my dad and my whole family at the garage doing this. We still got more speed left in her, and I just want to thank my whole family, my mom, my dad, my brother. Good luck to him, like, the next race. Smart Apartments, Finish Grade Excavating, Sign by Six, and um, myself. Bryson Robino back in third. Brody Wakefield the first time in second. And in victory lane, Mike Hannafin for the first time in the season.